Hi makers, today we're gonna to talk about screens in Adalo. So what I have done is I have started a brand new app in Adalo with a brand new account. And when you're going through the sign up process, you may have noticed that the inputs that you um, selected while you're signing up for Adalo, then they impacted the app that was created for you. In this case, I created a rental management app. Um, and then was presented with these five screens. Right now I am zoomed out so I can see all five screens that were created for me. However, I am going to zoom in as we begin talking about this. However, I, wa I do want to make sure that everybody knows that although the images may look different um, in my app than the app that you started with in Adalo, uh, everything else, the functionality, is the same. So, Let's get started. Um, again, every app that you start with in Adalo is going to come with these five screens, unless you've already created this app, in which case um, the new app that you start with will come with four. However, let's just talk about these five to begin. First up, every app is going to actually come with a sign-up screen. The sign-up screen is important and it functions differently than other screens in your app and there is a very special way to tell which, app, uh, which screen is going to um, be your sign-up screen even beyond just having a form inside your app um, for signing up. Up here, you're going to find screen details. So when you click on your screen details, you are actually going to see that this up here, it says a welcome screen. And a welcome screen behaves differently than any other screen in your app. You can change your screen navigation type here. And so this allows you, if you need to, let's say you're creating screens for guests or something like that where they they are able to interact with your app without signing in, then perhaps your welcome screen is going to look a little bit different than the one that we've got, we have set for you. But for all intents and purposes, there is a welcome screen. When you create a first app, it is gonna be your sign up screen. Here you can see the different types of screen types in Adalo. So again, this is the welcome screen and this is what the first screen a user is going to see if they are not logged in with um, a username and a password. Every app needs to have a welcome screen and every app needs to have a home screen. Right now, our sign up screen is our welcome screen. And then if you go over here into our home list screen, this is our home screen. And the home screen is the first screen that a user is going to be taken to if they are logged in. What's really nice about this home screen um, setting is that later on when you're creating your app, you may want to change around what the home screen is in order to quickly test your app instead of having to go through several screens to get to the flow that you're working on. So if that's a little confusing now, it's okay. Just know that the home screen is really nice to change around as you're testing, um, but for this first experience, we're just gonna keep everything here on this, this screen. All right, every other screen that comes in your Adalo app is a quote unquote normal screen. That means this doesn't have any special behavior or privileges that the welcome screen and the home screen do. Um, and so typically when you're creating a new screen, it is just going to come as a normal screen and you can change that later if you'd like. All right, let's go through the different components of a screen that you may see again at the very high screen level. So first off, you've got this little drop down here is going to change the size of the screen that you're viewing within the editor. Um, so if you selected a responsive app when you were getting started, you're going to see three options here. If you are working only in a mobile app, you are only gonna see the mobile view up here. In fact, I don't even believe that you see an icon at all. If you 
toggle between these screen sizes, you'll see that quickly your screen is going to respond to the device size that you've, you've selected and you can go ahead and create your screens in whichever um, design that you would like. I'm gonna stay at the desktop view for now, but that's helpful to know that that's how you change screen sizes to design. All right, next up, at the screen level, when you choose your screen, you can go ahead and see all of the components that are on your screen, and you can see that if you hover over them, there's going to be a little outline on your um, screen that tells you which component you're hovering over. These right here are called nested components. So again, you've got a group right here. That's your login form. And then in your login form group, you've got several different components, whether that's text or buttons or a form, um, whatever that looks like. And so this is a really easy way to see how your components are all uh, working together to create what your screen looks like. It's also nice to know that this screen is here because you can drag and drop these components. This isn't really important in this screen example because everything is spaced out really well. But sometimes in Adalo when you're designing, you'll notice that some components stack on top of each other and perhaps you want to bring one to the front and set one to the back. And this is the easiest place to do that because of the drag and drop capability. Next on a screen, you have the ability to add actions. So other components, which we'll talk about in the future, you have the option to set click actions. And potentially in some of your premium components, there's other types of actions that you're able to set. Here at the screen level, you're able to set an action in order to do something else. We'll talk about actions later, but it is important to know that there are screen actions here um, and that those screen actions trigger every single time somebody lands on that screen. So for example, if somebody goes from one screen to a second screen and then back to the first screen, that action is going to trigger both in that that first visit of the screen and then that second visit of the screen. Next, you'll see available data. Right now, there is no linked data on this screen. We will talk about this a lot in the future and so I definitely don't want to confuse you here, but this is a good place to go to figure out why your data isn't flowing if for some reason you expected that data would show up on a screen and for some reason it's not showing up here. Next, you can edit styles of the screen. You can change your screen size. You can set a background color. You can choose an image that will go on your background and you can do some sort of reverse scroll, which reverse scroll is an important setting when you have something like a chat on your screen. There are a couple of places where you're able to add new screens. First off, you can add a new screen when you come up to um, all of your screens list. We talked about our screens in um, the first experience of Adalo video, um, but you can add a screen here and we'll take you directly to all of the screen templates that we have. And this is really nice to get something that's pre-designed for you. It comes very quick into your app and then all you have to do is connect your data. Um, again, there's a lot of things to choose from here, so I definitely recommend checking this out. Next, another way to get into this ad screen experience is going to be just through your plus button up here. You can go ahead and add a screen, and again, you're brought back to the same exact um, area in order to add a screen here. Another way to add a screen is if you're inside of this form, let's say, and you wanted to take somebody to a certain screen, you can go ahead and link them and then you can say, okay, let's go ahead and, and add a new screen. When you add a new screen, you can type the name of that screen and then add a template if you would like and then go ahead and hit, hit create screen. And if I zoom out, you'll see that that screen has been added. And then you're, you can design um, from scratch. All right. Another thing that I forgot to mention, and, and maybe 
maybe it's helpful, but when you're thinking about screens as you're designing your app, it, these are going to be similar to, let's say, pages on a website. And so each one of these screens is going to display different information for the user to interact with. Um, and so every time that you're adding a screen, just think this is a new experience. What is it going to look like and how should I design it? Um, and again, you can see in our app that we've got five different screens and there's going to be different experiences on each one. The last thing that I wanted to talk about today in, in terms of screens is the screen is like a large container for several components. So as you're designing, your screen is like a blank canvas and then you're going to drag and drop components onto your screen and that's going to help create the designs and functionality that your users are going to interact with as they're utilizing your app. That was my quick overview of screens for today. Um, if you have any questions about screens, feel free to drop them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them as soon as possible.